Hey angels, it's Arne the designer and I'm back with another video. Today I will be telling you tips on how to become a prom dress designer. Above anything else, you must put God first. Prayer gonna get you everywhere, everywhere that he intends for you to be, okay? Amen, amen. You must trust in yourself and have confidence because if you don't believe in what you're doing, how can I believe in you? How can I want to buy into your business if you're not even confident in your own work? Remember, confidence is contagious. Follow other designers who have made it already, who have gotten to the point to where you want to be because it keeps you inspired, it keeps you going, and it'll help you stay up to date on the latest trends and things like that. What colors, what kind of applique, feathers, things of that sort. If you're just starting out as a beginner and you've been practicing on how to how to sew, I would recommend making sample dresses to showcase your work. The dress that I'm making in this video was my sample dress. I took pictures in it, I made a flyer, and I promoted it. And I didn't think it would do anything, but my consistency paid off because overall, by the time the season ended, I touched at least five prom dresses. Use affordable fabric to practice with. And like I said, co consistency is important. So promote, promote, promote. Likes or not, it don't matter if your family not supporting you, if your friends not supporting you, you be your biggest cheerleader. You believe in yourself and you promote. Start months in advance. Start ahead of the season because you can't be taking last minute orders unless you know for sure you can handle it. I just don't recommend it. It gets hectic. People get emotional over their order they're going to be asking you where my dress how's the dress coming along and you have to set boundaries with that too because you can't be sitting up responding to messages like you're trying to work and you're trying to finish so that's another great tip to establish that boundary like hey i'll have updates when everything is done you'll need to know how to measure properly and you'll need to know how to use patterns i can't go over that in this video but there will be some on youtube but if you want me to make a video of that just let me know i feel like as a designer sketching is important if you're not great at drawing do stick figures do shapes but you need to design and have your own designs in mind don't copy nobody else's work if you do an inspiration look of somebody else's work be sure to tag them make sure you stay on trend make sure you stay original Again, patterns are a must. You can find patterns at Joann's, you can find patterns at Hobby Lobby, and you can order them off Etsy and get them printed off at Office Depot. When you're talking to clients and they're asking questions, the best way to give them a quote is to add up all the cost of the supplies, things like shipping and packaging and taxes, and if I were you, I would multiply that by two. So that way half of the total can be toward your pocket and then the rest is for the supplies you need to make the dress. Don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself time. Greatness don't happen overnight. Always request clear quality photos and tags from your clients. Have consistent branding. Be organized and make sure you have a book in sight. I know this is a quick, short video, but if you need anything elaborated on further, just let me know in the comments below. The main takeaway is you don't have to be perfect and you don't have to have a whole lot of money. Just start with what you have. Your faith don't even have to be a whole lot, but if you got a little bit, it's going to get you somewhere. Trust and believe me. I'll be your cheerleader throughout the whole process. Hopefully, I can see your work for prom 2024. Just tag me, sis, and I'll hype you up, period. Be sure to add me on Facebook and Instagram at Arne Atelier. I follow back. Thanks for watching.